Good morning guys, today I woke up and I felt like drinking my tea. So, hubby went to Virginia last week and he brought me a new tea. So let me show you guys what he brought me. So he bought me this wild huckleberry tea from Tennessee. They had a layover on Tennessee. So he bought me this. And this is how the tea looks. So this tea tastes very uh, like like berry and also kind of like floral in my opinion. I actually ended up really liking it, but I didn't know what the benefits were. So I googled them and it says that huckleberries are associated with lowering cholesterol, protecting against heart disease, muscular degeneration, glaucoma, varicose veins, and peptic ulcers. And it also says it's high in vitamin C and it protects the body against immune deficiency, deficiencies, deficiencies, I don't know how to say it, cardiovascular disease. And it also says huckleberry tea will gradually help alleviate glycosuria, but I don't know what glycosuria means. So I Googled glycosuria. Let me show you guys. Glycosuria is a condition characterized by excess sugar in the urine, typically associated with diabetes or kidney disease. So that is, that is actually really good, you know? And then, let me continue reading. I just thought it was really interesting. So it says, gradually alleviate glycosuria and hyperglycemia. I don't know what hyperglycemia is. So I googled it <laughs> and it says like diabetes, you know, like a chronic condition that affects the way the body processes black sugar, glucose. So in my opinion, this tea is really beneficial because it helps with diabetes and a lot of other things aside from having high vitamin C, which we need in this coronavirus ambient <laughs> as you would call it I don't know what you would call it but yeah so I'm really happy I'm gonna be drinking my tea right now and then I'm gonna make breakfast for the kids so I'll show you guys when I'm done I think I'm gonna make either um, I was thinking French toast do you want French toast yeah, she's over there. Come here. Why are you waiting? Come on, I just came down here. Oh, you want you want French toast? Sure. Oh, you look so pretty. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. yes. No. Very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to be making French toast and then I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hello guys, so I am here at the post office because I ended up selling uh, my husband's jacket. He bought himself a really nice jacket from Guess and it was burgundy and it was leather. But he never wears it so he decided to just part with it and sell it. I sold it for him on Poshmark. So yeah, I'm going to drop it off because he is planning on buying himself some shoes with the money that I make for him. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop it off and then I'll be back and probably just go home because we're not allowed to go anywhere else unless we need it. So I'll see you guys a little bit later when I get home. Hello guys, today is Thursday and I decided to make a banana bread. I am a little bit bored, it's already 6 p.m. But I'm a, a little bit bored, I don't know what to do. So I've decided to just make a banana bread. One of those uh, store-bought, because I couldn't find any ingredients anyway. Like one of these.
so these are the ones that I found quick bread banana bread so I'm hoping this works not sure I have under eye bags don't think that this is bruises or anything I just have really bad under bags and stuff really dark I don't know why but I haven't worn makeup in the past six months or so unless we go out to eat dinner as a family <laughs> that's the only time or whenever I feel like looking a little bit more presentable so right now I'm just gonna be doing the the bread and then yeah hubby is outside right there enjoying the fire pit so here is my ingredients my super ripe bananas my eggs my water my mix and my oil right here I am not sure if I'm going to make one box or two boxes because I have this little thing this is I think a cookie sheet so, I don't know I think I might make both of them because these bananas are super super ripe and I really don't want to throw them away because they have really good um, vitamins and whatever when they are super ripe like this they are very beneficial when they are super ripe like this so I want to keep them I'm gonna make something with them crossing my fingers my camera doesn't fall from there so One third cup of oil. But because I have two, I'm going to put two. One cup of water. And then it says two eggs. I'm not a big fan of eggs, so I'm gonna do come on. Get out. I'm just gonna do two of them. Hopefully that's enough. And then I'm gonna put some bananas. Super ripe bananas. I'm not sure if these are bad. Let me see. Oh, this one's perfect. See? This is what you want to see. Them still being white. But super sugary. So I'm going to put... Two bananas. This one doesn't look good. See, this one is all brown inside. So I'm not using these. One. I think maybe these. Yeah, these are all brown inside because the thing is, my husband 
uh, accidentally left them in the oven too close to the oven and they burnt so it's okay I'll just use two no big deal I think this is too flat, but I'm gonna give it a try. I'll just put a little bit. I'm not sure how much is going to rice. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I should put more or if I should leave it. Let me see. Well, I poured some more. even it's not that hard I think that's good ah, what am I doing I have this one to make another one definitely wasn't prepared because I don't have enough pans for this kind of stuff but I was craving it so we'll see what goes Maybe this one can handle a little more. No, yeah, that's good. I think that's good. So we are going to put this in the oven. It says 400 for metal or glass for dark coated pan, 375. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and then I'll show you guys when it's done. So the banana bread is ready, this one is normal, this one I ended up putting a little bit of chocolate chips on half of it. Ah, it looks so delicious, but I just got it out of the oven so it's really hot. Right here I have ceviche ingredients, well except the shrimp, I'm thawing it out. So I'm going to get started on this and then I'm gonna start to eat a little bit later so I'll see you guys a little bit later